हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक गर्ग एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एनेटमी ऑफ पोस्टरोमीडियल कॉर्नर ऑफ नी रोबिन्सन एट ऑल डिवाइडेड द मीडियल नी इन टू थर्ड्स एंटीरियर थर्ड मीडियल थर्ड एंड पोस्टीरियर थर्ड फ्रॉम द डायग्राम वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज द पेटल टेंडन दिस इज मीडियल कोलेट्रल लिगमेंट सो द एरिया बिटवीन द मीडियल बॉर्डर ऑफ द पेटल टेंडन एंड एंटीरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ द मीडियल कोलेट्रल लिगमेंट दिस इज दिस इज एंटीरियर थर्ड and the area covering the medial collateral ligament is the medial third and the area posterior to the medial collateral ligament and uh, touching the medial head of the gastro muscle is the posterior medial corner so this is the posterior medial corner the area from posterior to the mcl and anterior to the medial head of the gastrocnemius so we will discuss the anatomy of posterior medial corner of knee so the posterior medial corner of knee has five major components the posterior medial joint capsule the posterior oblique ligament the oblique popliteal ligament the semi membranous tendon and its extensions the posterior horn of medial meniscus now we will discuss each of them one by one so we can see that this is the posterior medial corner of the knee and this is the medial collateral ligament if we go just posterior to the medial collateral ligament this area is the posterior medial joint capsule and this 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 uh, the we have drawn with the lines then this area is the posterior oblique ligament so the posterior oblique ligament is has the origin from the adductor tubercle and insertion over the tibia it will insert over the tibia with the three arms three different arms so the area between the medial collateral ligament and the posterior oblique ligament is called the posterior medial joint capsule so it has we cannot separate the posterior medial joint capsule from the posterior oblique ligament they are inseparable so if we look at the post, uh, posterior oblique ligament so it has three arms it has a origin from the adductor tubercle and will insert over the tibia with three different arms so this is a capsular arm or the superior arm as the name suggest we can see that it will insert at the capsule the posterior capsule then this is the central arm or the tibial arm it will go and insert over the tibia on the posterior aspect just distal to the joint line and this is the distal or the superficial arm it will go and insert over the tibia at the insertion of the distal arm of the semi membranous muscle and it will also insert at the seat of the semi membranous tendon so these are the three arms of the posterior oblique ligament now if we see then the next structure is a semi membranous muscle we have already seen in detail from the previous video please go to the previous video to have a detail about the semi membranous muscle now we can see that this is the capsular arm of the semi membranous and this is a capsular arm of the posterior oblique ligament so it will go between the capsular arm and this central arm and it will go in and insert over the capsule we as we have seen from the previous video then this is the central arm and this is the distal arm so between the central and the distal arm going the this is the deep head of the semi membranous this is the direct head of the semi membranous so it will go between the these two central and the uh, distal arm and it will go and insert to the uh, tibia just distal to the joint line and then this is the distal arm of the semi membranous muscle and this is the distal arm of the posterior oblique ligament both these will go and insert at the same point and uh, it has also or, uh, insertion over the periosteum of the tibia then we have the oblique popliteal ligament this is also we have seen in the uh, video for semi membranous muscle this is extension of the capsular arm of the semi membranous tendon because this is because this is oblique it is uh, called oblique going along the popliteal tendon so oblique popliteal Uh, ligament and it will uh, go towards the lateral femoral condyle will and insert over the capsule and the fibula fibula is a accessory bone then the last component of the posterior medial corner of the knee is the posterior horn of the medial meniscus and it has attachment to all the rest four structures of the posterior medial corner of the knee the oblique popliteal ligament the semi membranous tendon the posterior medial joint capsule and the posterior oblique ligament it has a very important role in the stabilization of the posterior medial corner of the knee it act as a chalk block during the flexion extension movement uh, for the femur so this was about the anatomy of the posterior medial corner of the knee
थैंक यू गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच